What is Thanksgiving? We are taught in school that the pilgrims came to the New World across the Atlantic Ocean in search of religious freedom. While at this newfound land, they ran into the indigenous who welcomed them with open arms, they learned from them, and they all sat down for a feast and celebrated love and harmony. Now, is there more to the story than what we are told? Was a part of history left out of this sacred holiday? Let's take a look. In the 1600s, the religious separatists in Europe felt they were being persecuted because of their religious beliefs. They traveled around Europe and ended up in Holland, but they were still not happy. So with great frustration of finding a place to settle, they went on a quest across the ocean on a ship called the Mayflower to find a place where they could live in peace and harmony and freely practice their religion. On their voyage, the separatists who were later called pilgrims had to endure the rocky rough ride, cold weather, and sickness on the ship. While on the long voyage, the pilgrims and the members on the ship decided to agree on their own laws, which were called the Mayflower Compact. The pilgrims did not land where they intended. However, they first stopped at the tip of Cape Cod, and then they disembarked to a place called Plymouth. The weather was brutal when they settled, and due to the long voyage, the pilgrims didn't have much food left there. Many pilgrims died from pneumonia and a vitamin deficiency called scurvy. The natives who survived the three years of plague and smallpox noticed that there were visitors on their land. Massasut, the leader and the young native of the Wampanoag tribe, Squanto, greeted the pilgrims. Squanto taught them how to survive by showing them how to fish, hunt, and how to plant. Squanto and the tribe got the pilgrims healthy again, and they gave them the tools for survival. Massasut and the pilgrims agreed to a peace treaty. The pilgrims used the tools they were given, and they had a bountiful harvest. So to celebrate the successful harvest and their new freedom on their new land, they held a three-day harvest feast festival and Master Soot and his natives brought food to share, which is known today as Thanksgiving. As time went on, the news about the New World traveled across the ocean to Europe. The settlers sought out the New World to make it their new home. The settlers infringed on the natives' land. The indigenous were not happy about the new visitors bombarding on their land. The uninvited guests began building and populating land it belonged to the indigenous. Europeans had no regards to the indigenous inhabitants. Many tribes were removed from their land violently. Natives were captured, turned into slaves, and many were murdered. Over many years, colonists went from village to village murdering unarmed men and women and children. Many were burnt alive. Natives were beheaded and left on a display in Plymouth for over two decades. It is our responsibility to learn and teach a more accurate depiction of history.